Hey everybody, this is Bill with the Cajun Homestead. Uh, I got challenged by Bruce Sard Homestead. That's uh, Brett and Amy. And uh, they challenged me to a collaboration. And the collaboration is the uh, top five seeds that I would, I'm would. i kind of excited to grow in my garden this year. Uh, Wright Farms started this collaboration. And uh, it's a pretty good, it's a good idea. I like it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on mine. Uh, my top item to grow in my garden is actually not a, it's not really not a seed. It is a, they're called seed potatoes. But you actually have to take a full-size potato, that's uh, seed potatoes, and these are red potatoes, which are, uh, are grown down in our part of the country down here in southwest Louisiana. And uh, they grow real well down here. Actually, uh, I probably should have already got them in the ground. My garden area, which is a 100 by 100, is not ready. I'm still moving stuff down here, out here, and uh, getting things ready. So I'm kind of behind times a little bit right now. But my uh, second one is uh, golden bantam corn. Uh, I have some uh, seed corn somewheres. I have a, a number of, uh, let me get this, a number of cans. These are uh, fruitcake cans, and uh, what I do is I store them out in a shed that I have, and it's actually a uh, old truck box, and it's uh, eight, eight, eight feet by 24 feet long, and I got all my tools stored in it, and all my seeds stay in there, and I have a lot of stuff that uh, was stored in there, and I'm going to make another video, but it, uh, some stuff got ruined, and I've actually got a leak I have to fix, so. I'm not changing the subject, but, and then my third one is, uh, but my corn, I have some, uh, heirloom corn that I received from my dad before he passed away. And, uh, so I've got to locate it and I'm going to probably, that's probably the corn I'm going to be growing. It's, uh, it's old. Like a lot of my seeds are old, but, uh, that's why I'm excited about growing. See if they'll, uh, remake. My other thing is, uh, my okra, my dad was big about okra. He grew a lot of okra, a lot. And, uh, but uh, the, the strain, uh, the kind we use down here is longhorn. That's what pretty much a lot of people down here grow. So that's that. And then uh, some beans. I've got actually uh, some old beans that I received from my dad who he got, it, got them from his mom. So these were my grandmother's beans. She at one time, put these beans in old mason jars and uh, he gave them to me and of course I took them out I thought the mason jars were pretty cool so I took them out of the mason jars put them in ziploc bags and then I put them in the uh, my, and stored them in the uh, uh, grapefruit cans so and I've got three and the, the old white navy bean is one of my plant I love the white the uh, I think these are kidney beans the deal is none of them was tagged to what kind of beans they were. So I'm guessing, I guess when I plant them and I harvest them and I taste them, I'll be able to, or we'll be able to tell you what to cut them. And then the other one is a uh, bag of red beans. Now all these are uh, heirlooms. So that's pretty much what I grow here. I, I like growing heirlooms. And of course, everybody knows that the, the heirloom strain uh, seeds uh, are the original uh, plant. So they, they're not... They not they're not hybrids, so they don't they grow fast. They, some of them won't be pretty, but it, anyway, uh, they're all heirloom. Now I bought seeds many years ago to grow at another location. I had a family member that lived uh, just outside of town where I lived, and so I grew uh, had another garden there because this place this this location is about 45 minutes to an hour from where I was living, so I had a closer closer garden and uh, all, all these seeds are from uh, seed savers exchange I like their uh, I like the company they I'm not plugging them but uh, I did like their seeds their seeds were very well they grew and I grew only heirlooms then so I still got some of their seeds and I've actually uh, that's that's one of the seeds on companies I really like like I say I've used them before I know a lot of other people use different companies but I like the uh, Seed Saver Exchange. 
Okay, that would be all my seeds, my my five that I want to grow, plus I got other things I'm gonna probably be growing. I'm kind of excited period to have a garden. So I had a little garden in town, which was a, uh, a small garden. So, but the three the three other YouTube channels I'd like to challenge to do this collaboration are Sugar Creek Homestead, and they're in Tennessee. My second one is Zero to Homestead, and that's uh, Tim and, and uh, Brandy, and they're located in North Georgia. And uh, my third one would be Getting Started on Homesteading, and uh, they're located in Kentucky. Now, I think these three channels will do uh, extremely well doing a video. That's why I challenge them. I, I really like their channels. So that's my that's my video to for the tag from uh, Bruce Hart Homestead. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all their uh, channel sites in the description. Uh, remember uh, to uh, subscribe if you would like to. I'd appreciate it. it really would. Uh, hit the bell. That way, when I do another video which is kind of hard for me to do, working and uh, trying to get out here and get something done with getting home right before dark is kind of hard to do and uh, rebuilding this old house. So uh, hit the bell if you could. I'd appreciate it. And uh, be sure and like and share this video if you would. So that's it for now. This is Bill with the Cajun Homestead, and I do appreciate you watching.